All right, we need to really talk about the Shakur Stevenson whole thing, man. It's, uh, I, I wanted to make this video because I want to point out the difference between Floyd Mayweather and Sha what Shakur Stevenson is doing. Everybody's like, oh, Sha uh, Floyd Mayweather used to, used to fight like this. No, go back and look at tape. Pretty Floyd, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather was a killer. He was a killer throwing combination. Shakur Stevenson is just there to try to see how many punches he can avoid and doesn't throw back. He throws maybe one, two, and then starts doing the, and then smiles. What is that? What is that? He doesn't have a killer mindset in him. He's not gonna be a pay-per-view star. It, it, he's not. His style is not for pay-per-view. He can be as defensive as he can, but if there's no offense, there's no action. And something tells me that if he was if 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 he trusts his instincts and you know defensive moves so well, then throw more punches. You have to risk it. Trust your ability. You might get caught, but that's the fighting game. That's what we want to see. That's what people want to see. And he's all butthurt on Twitter. He's doing more fighting on Twitter, throwing left hooks and jabs on Twitter than his actual fight. He kept saying so many things like, oh, I'm going to knock him out. You know, no more running, no more this. Entertainment is going to come. Nothing. Nothing. People were yawning in the fight. People were leaving the fight. And then he blames the fighter. Then he blames his opponent. Go out there and do your job, which is knock out someone. Please. Please knock out somebody. You you can't even knock out people that aren't even known, bro. Like, once you get up there in top competition, it's not going to go well for you. You're a great fighter. You can hang in there. I'm not saying he's gonna lose, and he's my he. You know he he's he's a terrible fighter. He's a good fighter. He just doesn't let himself go. He doesn't have that killer instinct. His it's like it's like he's playing a game in the ring where like it's like, um, let me see how many times I can avoid punches. Let me see how many punches I can avoid, and get on my bike. Like that's that's what he wants to do. And. People comparing it to Floyd. Listen, man, Floyd made you miss, but he would hit and he would he would go in there and and put combinations. Like I said, he stood against Canelo, Cotto when Cotto was in his prime. He made, I mean, he it was masterpiece. And if you look at all the the previous fights, Floyd was 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 throwing combinations and combinations and combinations and moving, making a miss combination. But Shakur Stevenson is just about the. Boom, one. That's two punches and what, like, how many seconds is that? And then throughout the whole fight, that's all he does. And he, I think his grandfather or whoever was in his corner, they were like, you need to let yourself, you know, you, you, need, to, you need to let your, your hands go. Because people are falling asleep out here, man. And it doesn't matter if it was the most viewed on ESPN. Listen, man. Um, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. Unless you're not on pay-per-view, that doesn't mean anything. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. There's, there's, there's a difference between running and, and, you know, did, and, and doing what Floyd did, you know, in the past, which is, you know, hit and don't get hit. Shakur Steven is not doing that. He's not getting hit, but he doesn't hit back. Let me know what you guys think.